Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at Quarter Horse Arms. We got a little range here that we're going to use for something new, something that uh, we've never tried before, except for 10 minutes ago. But um, we got a different phone with a better connection. Hopefully, this one's going to work and allow us to do. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of things that are in our review queue here at Gear Report. We're going to demo some of them. Uh, in this first pass, we're going to go around and show you all the different options. This is where it becomes interactive. You have an opportunity to leave comments on this live stream to let us know what you'd like to see more of today. As long as the weather holds out, we're going to come back as soon as this intro is done and start doing live reviews of a variety of different products. And, uh, you know, if enough people say they want to see something, even if we weren't going to do it, we may make time and do that one today as well. So let us know what you'd like to see. So what's going to happen now, I'm going to go over to this table and show you some things that are on here. And then some of the other guys are going to show you some of the other options we have. Then we'll get into the review. Okay, so on this table, things we know we're definitely going to do today we have not shot the SIG MCX Rattler or SIG MCS Virtus. Both of these are pistols in 300 blackout. Haven't shot them at all, unfired since coming from the factory. We're gonna shoot them as is. We've got some SIG ammo and, and some other types of ammo. And then we'll also pull the muzzle brake or the, uh, the flash hiders off and put cans on them and shoot them suppressed as well. Um, this is our Form 1 can. This is a... Um, Elite Remember. Iron. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. This is Elite Iron 30 cal can. Um, so we know we're going to do those. On here we have from Falcon 37 the Habu charging handle. We have the um, Franklin Armory binary firing system. We'll see how that works. This is a piston, um, superlative arms piston upper. And we've got another Elite Iron can on here. So a lot of cool stuff there uh, on this. Glock 22, we have the Meprolite FT bullseye sight. It's just the back. The front one is, is not a part of this assembly. Let us know if that's something that's interesting to you. Uh, we just have this on display for you. Caleb, who you'll meet in a second, is about to review the Palmetto State Armory PA-65 with the Tracked Optics Toric 30 scope. Uh, which I'll tell you, I've shot this uh, just a few rounds. Well, I've got a couple scope mounts here from Aero Precision on some of my different hunting rifles. This is a Cody rifle that uh, I've got a few parts in here, a barrel and the GPO scope, one by eight. Uh, super awesome. We'll be getting to that in more detail. And this is my 300 Blackout deer hunting pistol with a Sturka 1x6, also a fantastic scope. There are two different links to the Aero Precision mounts. This is the extended profile. This is the standard. They're a great mount, very lightweight. I'm very impressed with them so far. The second item we've got down here is the T3 Tactical Active Shooter Response Kit Gen 2. I know it's a mouthful, but what you get here with this system is a bag. And then inside the bag is that, a super awesome plate kit from T3 Tactical and Level 4 HESCO plates. They've got some fantastic specs behind them. Uh, stop pretty much anything. Also included is a double uh, M4 mag pouch set up with a tourniquet kit. So you can place your tourniquet in there and have everything you need in one quick handy to get to package. Okay, and we'll talk about, I'll give you a tour of this um, high-speed gear battle belt that we built for the high-speed gear media event a couple months ago. Uh, we'll look at that in more detail here shortly. All right, Alan. And what we have over here is another bag from T3. This one has a water bladder in it. Um, we also have a phone scope, uh, cell phone mount on a Lucid spotting scope. Um, we have a blowout bag here from AR500 Armory and we have a Henry rifle kit with a full survival pack. We'll do a complete unboxing of that later. Okay, Toby. How are we doing guys? All right, so we've got a, a bunch of different products sitting out here and again the key is we've got a couple things in mind that we're wanting to, to kind of burn through but overall if you see if you've seen anything out here that interests you 
text, comment, subscribe, like, let us know, and we'll jump on that instead. But overall, a couple things we've got here is the Troy 45 degree offset battle sight. We've got a Max Flow 30 suppressor that we're going to try to run some through. We've got uh, a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got the Fostec uh, Echo AR2 binary trigger inside of this. That should end up being a lot of fun right there. Of course, we've got a Romeo 1 SIG sight. we got an Avid multi-tool, a couple of other different suppressors, TLR7 on a pistol. Let us know if anything looks interesting to you, but we're going to try to knock some of this down today.